The Backstory of Melvin Chambers by Thomas Miller. In the shadowy depths of a small, forgotten town, where the whispers of the wind carried tales of despair and the flickering streetlights illuminated the ghosts of the past, lived a man named Melvin Chambers. From a young age, Melvin's life was marked by unspeakable torment. His parents, devoid of love or mercy, inflicted pain upon him in ways that would make even the hardest hearts shudder. Cigarettes were extinguished on his tender skin, leaving scars both visible and hidden. Melvin's childhood was a labyrinth of suffering, with each twist and turn leading to more darkness. He grew up isolated, his cries for help unheard by a world that seemed to revel in his agony. As he matured, the scars on his body healed, but the wounds in his soul festered, breeding a monstrous hunger that no ordinary sustenance could satisfy. It was a cold, moonless night when the darkness within Melvin reached its zenith. The years of abuse had forged a creature of rage and sorrow, a man whose sanity had been consumed by the very pain inflicted upon him. On this night, Melvin's parents met a fate befitting their cruelty. In a moment of grim retribution he ended their lives, his hands steady and his heart as cold as the night air. As he stood over the lifeless bodies of those who had tormented him, a new primal urge took hold. He reached down, severing a piece of his mother's arm. The flesh, still warm, beckoned to him with an irresistible allure. He took a bite, the taste of revenge mingling with the metallic tang of blood. In that moment, Melvin was transformed. The act of consuming his abusers awakened a voracious appetite, a hunger for human flesh that eclipsed all else. Driven by this insatiable craving, Melvin embarked on a macabre spree, his once victimized heart now a predator's. The townspeople became his prey, their lives ending in brutal, horrifying ways. His rampage left a trail of bodies, each consumed in part by the cannibalistic fiend that Melvin had become. The fear in the town grew palpable, the once quiet streets now haunted by the spectre of death. The police, their nerves frayed and their resolve tested, finally cornered Melvin in an abandoned house on the outskirts of town. The confrontation was fierce, the air thick with the acrid smell of gunpowder and the echoes of desperate shouts. Melvin fought with the strength of a man possessed, but ultimately the bullets found their mark. His body fell to the ground, lifeless, yet somehow peaceful in death. Melvin Chambers died as he lived consumed by the darkness that had been his constant companion. The town, though relieved, was forever changed by the horrors it had witnessed. The tale of Melvin Chambers became a chilling legend, a reminder of the depths of human depravity and the haunting consequences of a life steeped in suffering. And so, the story of Melvin Chambers, penned by Thomas Miller, stands as a grim testament to the enduring scars of childhood trauma and the monstrous forms they can take. The man who loved eating the dead had become a ghost himself, lingering in the shadows of a town that would never forget his name. The town of Bleak Hollow slowly returned to a semblance of normalcy after Melvin Chambers' demise, but the scars of his reign of terror lingered in the hearts of the residents. The once vibrant community was now a place where doors were locked tight at night and children were no longer allowed to play outside after dark. The story of Melvin Chambers, the man who consumed the dead, became a cautionary tale, a reminder of the darkness that can lurk within the human soul. The house where Melvin met his end was abandoned, left to decay as a grim monument to his horrific acts. Some said they could still hear his tortured screams echoing through the halls on stormy nights, a spectral reminder of the pain that had birthed the monster. Others claimed to see shadowy figures moving within the windows, a haunting presence that kept the curious at bay. Despite the fear, there were those who sought to understand Melvin's madness. Doctor. Evelyn Hargrove, a psychiatrist with a fascination for the macabre, arrived in Bleak Hollow with a mission to unravel the twisted psyche of the town's infamous cannibal. She delved into the history of Melvin Chambers, interviewing surviving family members and poring over police reports. Her goal was not to excuse his actions, but to comprehend the depth of his torment and perhaps find a way to prevent such horror from arising again. Doctor. Hargrove's investigation led her to the remnants of Melvin's childhood home, a dilapidated structure that still bore the marks of the cruelty inflicted upon him. As she wandered through the ruins, she found hidden journals and drawings that provided a window into Melvin's tortured mind. 
The pages were filled with depictions of his pain, the twisted fantasies that had consumed him, and the monstrous hunger that had ultimately defined his existence. One journal entry stood out among the rest. In it, Melvin had scrawled a desperate plea for help, a cry for salvation that had gone unheard. Doctor, Hargrove was struck by the tragic irony the man who had become a monster had once been a boy seeking solace, a victim lost in the darkness. She realised that the story of Melvin Chambers was not just one of horror, but also of profound neglect and the consequences of unheeded cries for help. Determined to honour the memory of the boy who had been failed by the world, Doctor. Hargrove set up a foundation in Bleak Hollow dedicated to mental health awareness and support. She worked tirelessly to ensure that no other child in the town would suffer as Melvin had, providing resources and counselling to those in need. The foundation became a beacon of hope in a place once overshadowed by fear, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Years passed, and Bleak Hollow slowly began to heal. The story of Melvin Chambers, though still whispered in hushed tones, was now accompanied by tales of recovery and redemption. The town learned to embrace its past, acknowledging the horrors while striving to build a brighter future. Doctor. Hargrove continued her work, her name becoming synonymous with compassion and understanding. She wrote a book about her experiences, The Haunting of Bleak Hollow, The Tragedy of Melvin Chambers, which became a bestseller. In it, she detailed not only the gruesome acts of Melvin Chambers, but also the journey to uncover the root of his madness and the steps taken to prevent such a tragedy from ever occurring again. The legacy of Melvin Chambers, once defined by blood and fear, was transformed into a powerful story of redemption and hope. His life, though marred by unspeakable acts, served as a catalyst for change, a reminder of the importance of empathy and the need to listen to those who suffer in silence. And so, the tale of Melvin Chambers from the pen of Thomas Miller evolved into a narrative of healing, a story that reached beyond the grave to touch the lives of those who remained. It was a testament to the belief that even in the darkest of times, there is always a glimmer of light, a chance for redemption, and the possibility of a better tomorrow.